<laughs> I'm still in small town US of A. And I want to tell you, we've been talking about what? Saving water on your irrigation, your landscaping needs. Now, at my mother's place, they just sent her a mandatory water restrictions two days a week. And I just wanted to share this flyer with you. There's a few different things on what does 36 and, and the whole the whole town, mind you, they have to reduce their water by 36% and they've given some tips on how they're going to do that and I want to give those tips to you. Use a broom to clean outdoor areas instead of your hose. Saves five gallons per minute. Use mulch on soil surface. Saves 30 gallons per 1,000 square feet each time. Now that makes good sense. If you've got a landscaped area around your, your bushes that you're watering with your drip irrigation, I hope you're using drip and not the spray cascading uh, heads, okay? Use your drip irrigation and then use some mulch around the bushes so that when the drip um, gets on there on the water, it retains the water and it, and it helps grab the moisture from there from drying up or running off if you're on a slope or something like that. Here's another one. Set mower blade to three inches. Encourages deeper roots. Save 16 to 50 gallons per day when you have your sprinklers on. Install drip irrigation. That saves 15 gallons each time you water. Probably saves you more than that. Adjust sprinkler to water plants, not driveway. That makes sense, doesn't it? So when you've got your sprinklers on, even before you turn your sprinklers on, go into your garage or where you have your your timer, turn that on and walk it around. Turn all your sprinklers on. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Make sure they're adjusted properly. Make sure they're getting all your grass areas, not your concrete areas, all that kind of stuff. There's certain things you can do yourself and you can make a big difference. Just think if everybody in the neighborhood was doing the same thing that you're going to do now. We'd be saving lots of water, wouldn't we? Okay. Plant drought resistant trees and plants. That saves 90 gallons per 1,000 square feet each time. Install a smart controller. That saves 100 to 150 gallons per day when you have your sprinklers on. So I'm not quite sure what type of smart controller they're talking about. But in any case, you have a smart controller valve. Look at your hardware store. Maybe you need to upgrade your timer. What do you think about that? And here, for more tips, you can go to bewatersmart.info, I-N-F-O, and saveourwater.com. They'll have some more tips for you there. Okay? I hope that helps. And you know what? There's something, they're basically, they're talking about saving water on the landscaped areas. What about inside your house? Do you know that you can put an aerator type, uh, piece insert inside your shower head to reduce the water flow. Also your bathroom sink faucets, you can reduce that. They have different little um, adapters, inserts that will fit in yours. If yours is spraying out hard and you want to reduce that water, you can go to the hardware store and get something like one gallon per hour. Yeah, it doesn't give you a strong fl uh, flow in your bathroom sink, but it's enough to brush your teeth and wash your hands and that kind of stuff. Don't be a water waster. You can also, what else can you do in your house? You can adjust your toilets, make sure they're not running. And I've got all kinds of videos about toilets. Go to my playlists and run down where it says all about toilets. I give you all kinds of ways on how to check your toilets to see if they're running properly, if they're adjusted properly, if they're not taking up too much water for each flush and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, I hope that gives you a few ideas on how to save that precious resource of ours. Okay, there's some other tips on the mandate, mandatory water restriction notice. And they're talking about outdoor irrigation only two days per week and then also um, when you have your sprinklers on from 8 a.m. 
to uh, from midnight to 8 a.m. That's when you want to water or from 9 p.m. until midnight. Don't do it in the middle of the day. You're just wasting water. About 80% of that water is wasted to evaporation. Did you know that? Or if it's windy or something like that, you're not going to get uh, the proper coverages. Um, fountains and other decorative water features must use recirculating uh, water system. And um, also, here's a good one. Outdoor irrigation of any kind is prohibited during and up to 48 hours after measurable rainfall. And what I try to do is, if you know it's going to rain tomorrow, turn your sprinkler system off in the garage. Okay, you don't need to, you don't need to um, have your sprinklers go on that night because you know it's going to be raining sometime in the night. And then for the next 48 hours, after the rain stops, if it stops the next day, leave your sprinkler system off for another 48 hours. You don't need to to um, water anytime there, turn your timer off. That's my pet peeve. When it's raining, I see somebody's sprinklers on. Or the very next morning after it rains, somebody's just flooding their yard with water and it's wasteful, okay? So there's all kinds of tips. Hosing off driveways, pat patios and sidewalks and other hard surfaces is prohibited. You don't want to use your, your, your water for that, sweep that off, blow it off. Don't use your hose like you used to in the old days. This is a new time. We want everybody to do their part. All leaks, here's another one. All leaks shall be repaired within five days or sooner if required by the city. Um, all newly constructed pools and spas must have covers. That's another good idea. And as for the repairs, every maybe once every two weeks or at least once a month, you know, have, when your sprinklers are on or maybe you can turn the, the cycles on for just a little bit during the day and you can walk around you can see if you have any leaks anywhere or if you need to make some minor adjustments to your sprinklers, okay? I think that is all I have for this time. But stick around. I've got more stuff for you to come.